just start with the, the new signing? Tell us a little bit about Matt, please. Yeah, he's a great addition for us. Um, really happy to have him on board. He's someone we're full aware of. Um, um, he'll fit into the group and environment that we're trying to create here. He's keen to be here, which is massive for me. And I think he'll be an excellent addition for us going forward. Looks like it could be a busy week for you up until the transfer deadline. What, what do you think's in store? Um, yeah, we'll, we'll try and recruit a couple of players. Um, for sure, we'll be, we'll be looking to do a little bit more business um, before... Um, the window closes and hopefully sooner rather than later. Is there a number of players you want to bring in? Is there a certain position, a certain number of positions you can bring in? Yeah, that we are looking at specific areas of the pitch. Um, but first first and foremost, like I said about Matt, he needs to fit into what we're trying to do here. He needs to want to come and be, be part of this and um, and add to the group and, and progress the group. And uh, if, it, if that's not the case, then he won't come. Can you let us know the positions that you're looking at? Um, Roughly? Roughly, I'm not sure. No? No. <laughs> what, what about Snowgrass? It's going to get quiet on that front. Any update on that? Um, there's no update, I don't think, for positive or otherwise. There's no update. It's pretty much where it was last week, so there's nothing really to add to that from where we were, from where we were last week, unfortunately. Just finally for me, any outgoings you expecting? Yes. Um, a, lot, a lot of the younger players at the team will be will be going out on loan to experience um Experience first team football, which is so important. You know, they, they've, we've got a good group of talented young players. A lot of them can still play under 18s, but some that are just beyond that now, and we feel like they need to go out and get some minutes and progress their development. They're at that vital stage between 18 and 21 where they need to be exposed to first team football. So um, a few of them will go out, a lot of them will go out and, and, and experience that. They'll still be available to play in our B team games and reserve games and this these things and still be in and around the place but they'll go out and get much needed uh, first team minutes Even just on Snowgrass would you need an answer before I guess to like, Tuesday, Wednesday when you, you know maybe we'll get somebody else in if you, if you come here for me Well we've, we've not put a, a deadline on it as such but you know we will be looking to bring players in and we've not got an endless budget here where we can just sit and um, you know we, we will be looking to bring in a couple before um, before Thursday is, is Matt Penny, is he kind of ready to hit the ground running? Is he... Well, yeah, we're training today, we're training straight after this, we'll assess him after that, but he's been training, he's been working, he's, he's a fit boy, he's in good condition, um, so we'll come right into the plan straight away. Also just looking to keep the momentum going, but Kelly will be desperate for the first one as well. Tough, tough uh, task. It is, it will be, it will be. It's... Um, like every week, it's going to be it's going to be difficult without sounding like a, a broken record here. Um, They've had a tough start in terms of on paper. They've played a lot of the teams that finished high up in the league last year. Um, they'll be looking at this probably as a game they want a positive result from. Same as us. Uh, we can't control what they're doing, but we can control what we're doing. And this week we've prepared well, really well, as best we possibly can. We'll have another good session today and, and iron a few things out and look at a little bit of detail um, about what we expect tomorrow. And we'll be, we'll be prepared for it. Steve, how is the squad for tomorrow? It's good. The squad's good. Um, no issues, I don't think. No injuries, no injuries, no knocks out of that. No. Yeah, good stuff. What do you expect from Kermarnock tomorrow? A tough game, a tough game. Um, they've got a lot of good players in their team. They've got, a, you know, they've got different options that they can use. Um, they've got a top manager, top staff. So, again, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult, same as every week, but especially the, the, the start they've had, they'll want to progress now. And they'll see this as a game they want to do that. So we need to be fully prepared for that, which we, which we will be. What do you expect from Motherwell? Um, we expect a progression. We expect to be getting better um, consistently. Um, we want to we want to keep progressing. We want to keep the competition strong within the group. You know, we play on a Saturday and the comp competition's there, but there's also competition in this building every day. We need to. That's the environment we're trying to create where. Yes, we're playing on a Saturday, but during the week you're, you're competing with each other to, to progress the team on a match day. And yeah, is, is it going to be perfect? No, but we need to make sure we're, we're, we're progressing f from the performances we've put in already. It's early in the season, but what would three wins in a row do for Motherwell? A win's good any time. A win's good at any point in the game. And again, we're, we're fully aware that it's going to be really, really difficult. Um, 
but we're, we're, we're in a good place in terms of the way we've started with the atmosphere within the group's really really good the competition and the um, the day to day challenges we're setting them they've, they've responded really well to it so you know we're, we're feeling good about things Is it a little bit like going into the unknown league against Kilmarnock in terms of being familiar with the way they're playing? Well, we've watched them a lot. They've got different options, as you said. They, they can they can play certain styles, certain formations. They've got they've got good options. Um, we need to just be prepared as we can for it, but also implement our game plan on it as well. It's not just about what they do and how we combat that. It's how we play and how we we, we try and bring our style to the game. Um, but again, we're still realising how difficult that's going to be. Is that the key to getting the three points then, sticking to your game? It is, and it's it's giving the players the ability to analyse the game themselves as well. We give them a structure and a platform to play in, and a, a model we want to try and play in. But also remembering that, that they're good players and they're here for a reason. And if they see things out there that they, that they like and they think we're getting success with, then they ex explore that, and you know that's always encouraged here. Do you, do you feel you're getting a chance to every week to introduce a week of something else, extra that you want them to do? Is that you obviously don't want to? information overload in the first week or two but you've you just kind of dropped through that stuff yeah it's, it's constant it's it's constant we'll do you know we, we, we do a lot we give the players a lot of information we give we go into a lot of detail um, which I imagine every team does um, every team will play with a different styles it takes time to kind of implement that it takes a certain player it takes a certain profile but that's a challenge and that, that's the job to progress the players that are already here and, and, and keep the keep the club moving forward it helps when you get results that further buy into what you're, what you're doing as well. Yeah, that's it. That everything we do is about getting a result at the weekend, and that's yeah, we want to play well, and we want to do, we want to do well, and yeah, we want to recruit well. But all of this is all, all you know to to do well on a Saturday. That's that's what it's all for. Steve, you've been surprised by how good a start you've made three wins and four. You always back yourself to that. I always back myself. Always, um, but. You know, it's not a target. It's not. We've not said. You know, well, that's that's the goal. We want now in the next three games. We want to win the next three. I think what which what we try to do here is just be present, be in the present. We don't say, oh great, we've done, we've won three games already, brilliant. Or you're looking too far into the future. We're just trying to be present, enjoying what we're doing. Um, but then you know, not looking too far ahead, not looking too far behind, enjoying where we're at, but realizing it's only came through working really hard and and putting everything in it.